vintage CV radio freaks hello uh, it's time for modify here this major M688 uh, includes the original high gain 5 uh, Roger peep you can hear a part okay and here uh, is uh, to modify some parts here uh, Maybe here the R166 here, the R166 is a, a 10 kilo ohm type, uh, is to replace with a 4.7 to 6.2 kilo ohm, uh, it gives me a little bit stronger modulation, and then is to replace the R150. Uh, it's a 1.5 kilo type and is to replace it a 4.7 to 5.6 kilo ohm type. This is the modulation rejection modulation limiter setting here. And then uh, is to modify the preamplifier stage here, the biasing resistor number 40 this is a 27 ohm type uh, is to replace with a 33 ohm type and then i get uh, a stronger um, bias current emitter to ground and the r44 here is also a biasing resistor for the uh, final transistor here uh, this is a 10 ohm type and is to replace uh, with a type about 18 to 22 ohms and I will change it with uh, 18 ohms and then I get uh, we get more uh, bias current about 50 milliamps uh, it's uh, very important to have a very good modulation here Okay, we will start. Okay, now we take a look uh, into the schematic diagram of the PDBM 121 here, drawn by Rick Jackson of Euroradio Co. Limited here. And the first uh, part, this is the Q37, uh, this is the modulation limiter here, and this is the limiter bias, the R150. And this uh, 1.5 kilo type is to replace with a 5.6 kilo type, and the modulation rejection will be lower here. Good, and we can see here the modulation amplifier output here via C176 and R166 to so the RV12 here, the modulation mic gain of SSP modulation. and. The R166 is to replace with a lower type about 5.6 uh, kilo ohms and the SSB modulation will be stronger here and the signal goes here to the input of the balance modulator here. Okay and second we can see here uh, the final stage here, this is the preamplifier, the driver, and this is the final transistor here. And is to replace here the R40 to a 33 ohm type here in my major M688 is a 27 ohm type solar red, and we change it with 33 ohm here. And then we get about 50 milliamps of bias current between the emitter and the ground. And so on the final transistor here, on the bias resistor number 44 here, this 10 ohm type is to replace with a type between 15 and 22 ohms. And so we get uh, more than 50 milliamps uh, of, uh, of the bias current here. And then we reset here the bias current by RVQ to about 50 milliamps. Okay. Okay, it's to dissolve the resistors here. 166 here, etc. etc. Okay, fall out resistors here. Here and here. Maybe. Yes, and here. 
150 here. Okay, okay, and these are the old replaced uh, resistors. This is uh, R40, 27 ohm, R44, 10 ohm, and this is R150, 1.5 kilo ohms, and this is the 166, 10 kilo ohms. And these are the new resistors here. This is the new R40, like 33 ohms. New R44, final trends, 18 ohms, and the R150, 5.6 kilo ohms, and the R166, also 5.6 kilo ohms here. Okay, we are in TX mode here, and we will check the bias current of pre-amplifier stage and PA. Now, TX mode, this is the preamplifier. Okay, here we go. About 9 milliamps. This is very, very low. It's too low. And PA, about 21 milliamps. It's also too low. Yes, uh, the biasing pot is fully counterclockwise. And we need about 50 milliamps. And now we will change the R40 to an 33 ohm type and the R44 to an 18 ohm type here. Okay, cut off the legs of all resoldered resistors here. Okay, now we check the new currents here. Okay, we are full center clockwise. 113 was bad. Turn back the clock. Turn back the clock. Increase the current counterclockwise here to about 50 milliamps. Okay, check again. 50, yes, 50, 50, 51. Very good, very good. Now, case to resolder the emitter legs to the ground here. Final and preamp. Okay. Okay. Okay, we will check the USB average power here on 28305. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? 15.5 watts here. Very good. Thank you very much for the visit. See you again. Bye bye.